Hey guys, what's up? I'm Marianne Elise and welcome back to my channel. So we're at it again with another video. Happy Wednesday. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button before you even watch the rest of this. And if you're not new, welcome back. But today, as you can see, it's another wig review. Yes, 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 I have exciting news. But you see me playing with my hair right now. Because guess what? Y'all have seen me review this hair already. It is by ID Fine Wig. And today's hair is also by them as well. So, exciting news. I'm going to be partnering up with ID Fine Wig. And they're going to be sending me wigs every month to show you guys. So, I'm excited because I love the first wig by them. Which is the Ombre Curly Headband Wig that you see on my head right now. I'll link it down below if you want to see the review for it. But I got so many compliments. So being able to show you guys a variety from this company is going to be so exciting. And of course, I'll keep my other hair reviews. But I just wanted to let y'all know the little secret. So if you see this company a lot, yeah. But let's get straight into the video. So here's the box that it comes in and my box is beat up because it was delivered by FedEx and y'all know they just throw the package around. But I just want y'all to know everything came in safely and wrapped up nicely. So here's the wig for the day. It's the Glueless Lace Wig 13 by 5 T-Part, but we'll get into that later. So in the bag, of course, they include your little hair essentials. They give you a bag with some tools so they give you a comb a tweezer and an edge brush y'all I can start a collection with these <laughs> but I love it and they also sent me two caps one was a dark brown cap and a light brown thank you guys for sending me both colored caps you know because one fits me better but I really appreciate that and of course the hair comes wrapped up in a net but let's get into this hair color so this is the ombre tea part lace wig so, as y'all can see, it's similar to the ombre headband wig that I'm wearing right now. So, now I have a body wave, you know, I got the deep wave and the body wave. And their wigs come with a tag on it that has the washing and care instructions on the back, just in case you're new to this lifestyle. But yeah, so now we're going to start off with the lace and the parting and all that good stuff. So, y'all, for one, the part was so beautiful. This is the wig straight out the box. I didn't touch it. And I'm actually not going to pluck this part because look at how natural it looks. So here's the hairline. One thing that I will say is that I will not be using this hairline only because I have lower edges. So my edges did stick out of like this wig cap. But have no fear. If you want to use this hairline, you can. I just won't. Because this is a T-part lace. So what a T-part lace is, just in case you don't know, it means that the lace basically makes a T. You see where my finger is pointed up and down? That's like the T. And so you only have that lace to work with. I feel like this is a good wig for beginners who don't know how to work with a lot of lace or you don't have time for all the lace. And so you can just use this as like a middle part, you know? And that's what I did today. The wig came with four combs, two at the top, one at the bottom, and one in the inside of the wig. It's like hidden back there. I think y'all can see it. Boom. There it is. Yes. So yeah, it came with four combs and it also came with this elastic band that y'all see in the middle. All wigs don't come with that, so if your wig comes with an elastic band, then girl, you got a good wig, okay? You got a good wig because this is amazing. I love when they put these on wigs. This is what really makes a wig glueless. That way you don't have to put all these products on it. But like I said, the wig I'm taking off is also by ID Fine Wig. I already reviewed that on my channel if y'all want to go pick up y'all one. Okay, so just to show you guys how easy it is to put it on, I just put the band on behind my head, flip the hair, and then I'll just pull it up. And just like that, the wig is on my head. I will say my hair was not braided down underneath, so that could have like caused it to fit a little bit tighter. But, you know, it still went on nevertheless, and it was still comfortable, but if my hair was braided down, it definitely would have felt a lot better. But yeah, it's 22 inches in the head cap space, and it's 180% density. So, y'all, look at this. Look at how cute this is when I first put it on. So, let's start with the lace. The lace is Swiss lace, so I like this lace because it's like blending very well with my skin tone i feel like it's not that ashy white lace and the hair the hair texture was super soft 
The hair comes like curl like how you see it right now it came straight out of the net just like this so i ended up just not even doing anything to the curls i wanted to see how they naturally feel and y'all the curls are still holding up and it's been about a week so yeah i love how full this hair is especially for 180 percent density and the hair is also 20 inches and i wasn't getting any shedding any tangling my fingers are running straight through it as y'all can see i couldn't keep my hands out of it okay i could not keep my hands out of it but going back to the lace so if you watch my channel you already know when i try to cut the lace on camera it is just no it doesn't work for me <laughs> i'm really trying i'm really trying but no, I'm going to have to cut this off camera and then I'll come back and show y'all, you know, what it looks like when I finish cutting this lace off because I cannot cut it on my head. <laughs> so I just took my 30 seconds to cut the lace off and now we're back in business. Um, y'all, don't I look like I just like the hair's done and all I did was just cut the lace off. I haven't done anything else. What? Once again, running my fingers through it, no shedding. I was really surprised because I said the hair is full and I wasn't getting any shedding. But now we're going to do the parting. So like I said, this is how the natural part looks. It looks really natural. It's not too wide. It's not not plucked enough. And I know some people don't like a really wide, you know, part. So if you like that natural thin part, this wig is for you because look at that. Also, like I said, this is like a 13 by 5 lace, so the lace does go all the way ear to ear. But for me, y'all see how my hair be sticking out, you know, if you're new to my channel, <laughs> welcome to the lifestyle. But if you're not new, you know I got, you know, long edges or whatever. And so they just be there, and so I just slick them down, okay? I just slick them. But for the part, I'm just going to take some makeup. I'm going to take some makeup powder and a little concealer brush, a little flat concealer brush, and I'm just going to apply that, y'all. As soon as I applied this powder, it just seamlessly went into my scalp and blended. And this is no plucking. The part was already created very much so natural, so you don't even have to do this. But for me, I did want to widen it up a little bit, but I don't want to have to pluck. And I know when I get a natural looking part, I don't have to go pluck because the makeup powder can do what it needs to do. And it did just that. <laughs> it did what it had to do. So I just did, you know, a couple of little powder, a little powder packs in my part until I got it even and matching my skin tone. And y'all, look at that. Y'all watch the whole process like, whoa. <laughs> so the part is beautiful. It goes back five inches. So I love it. So we're almost done, but I want to emphasize how this is a glueless wig. If you notice, I didn't put anything to hold this wig down. Because of that band in the back, it's staying down on its own. Which is why I say I love this wig because glueless wig, T-part wigs, I feel like are beginner friendly. You don't have to put any, any type of adhesive on your wig. You don't have to do any type of plucking, all that stuff. If you get a good wig and this company obviously is showing y'all that it's a good wig so once again this hair was pretty good to go to me but i did want to flatten out the top just a little bit so what i did was take one section closest to my part and basically i just parted and i got the flat iron and i just ran over it halfway just to flatten that section out just one pass and then that was it and y'all Here's the back because I know some people want to see the back. So as you can see, the streaks of ombre go all throughout the back. It is still full in the back and it's 20 inches. True to length. It's body wave. You can straighten it. And boom. Here's the final look, guys. So once again, this is Ida Pound Wig, the ombre tea part lace. Everything I said will be in the description box below, so don't worry if you missed it. And I can't wait to bring you more wigs by this company, so make sure you stay tuned and check them out, okay? Check them out, because this is wig number two, and so far we are on a good streak. So we're going to see if we can keep this up. I'm really excited to see what else is coming, and I can't wait to show you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, guys.